Now let me take a small example and explain you how the set associator is going to work. Now the concept is like this. Okay, let me take the example. Uh, let us say um, main memory size is 64 bytes and it is byte addressable and cache size is uh, say 32 bytes okay and block size is 4 bytes and uh, set size is here I am going to talk about set set size is 2 blocks okay these are all bytes and here it is block which means there are uh, now two two blocks are combined into a set that is the meaning of this okay hmm. and then so since the set size is two it is also called as two way set associative the reason is uh, initially we use the direct mapping in order to get into the set and after we get into the set we are going to use associative right so that is why it is called as set associative two way set associative okay fine now let's get into the details so okay first now I'm talking about the cache so in the cache number of lines right so set size should be two lines two lines means you know you can understand it better so number of lines in the cache equal to cache size divided by block size or line size uh, which is eight lines okay and then number of sets equal to number of lines divided by set size right so how many number of lines are there eight lines divided by what is the set size two so which is nothing but four sets okay so now we have a cache in the cache there are eight lines and all the eight lines are divided into four sets that is the meaning of it now i have a cache in which i have eight lines one two three four five six seven eight lines and all these eight lines are divided into two two uh, lines are combined into one set right then how many sets did we get we got four sets one two three four right so this is set zero this is set one this is set two this is set three right and what about this this is uh, you know uh, block line 0 line 1 line 2 line 3 line 4 line 5 line 6 line 7 got it and what about the main memory main memory is having 64 bytes right so main memory is also having 64 bytes therefore and in main memory we don't have sets we have only blocks so in main memory if i combine 4 4 bytes into one block right then how many blocks i get the number of blocks in the main memory are going to be 16 right so 0 i mean 64 0 1 2 3 so on the number of uh, how many 16 i think yes the number of blocks in main memory are going to be 16 which you already know it right now uh, whenever we have any physical address right so physical address is going to be like this so physical address is going to contain, uh, you know, so physical address is uh, 6 bits. In 6 bits, the least 2 bits are going to be block offset that is there already. And then the remaining uh, part is going to be block number, right? And if you remember the direct mapping, in direct mapping, the block number has been uh, divided into two parts. One is line number and then the tag. But here, what we do is we go for set number set number and then the tag right so since the size of the block is four uh, four bytes we know that the block offset has to contain two bits this is fine right uh, but then uh, since the set number again okay, so here we have this uh, this part called set number 
now how many sets are there depending on the number of sets you, de you decide about the number of bits required how many sets are there four sets therefore how many bits are required in the set number the number of bits required in the set number is going to be two got it so now depending on this i got the set number as two right and now uh, the remaining two bits are going to be tagged this is how the six bits are divided earlier two bits here and then i uh, you know uh, i think uh, uh, how many a uh, three bits here if it would have been uh, in direct mapping right but here now it is block offset and then the set number and then the remaining bits are uh, tagged now what is the meaning of this now given any physical address you can find out what is the block number they are asking for and then you can find out what is the set in which that particular block will be present right now in every set you know it will be present only in a particular set once you get into that set right in that set it can be any of the four combinations which means every main memory block there is again mapped into the uh, you know set just like how the main memory block was uh, mapped into the cache line mapping is same main memory block is here mapped into the set earlier in direct main memory block was mapped into the lines isn't it so now what we are doing is every main memory block is mapped onto the set and within the set it is associative once it is mapped onto the set it can be present anywhere right therefore what we should be doing here is watch it so given any line let us say you are given any address some address like this since so 6 bits is the address some address is given like this 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is the address given that is generated physical address given by the main memory right i mean by the cpu then what we should do is find out the first of all find out the uh, set number now this is saying that the set number is 1 0 which means set number is 2 so it is present in this set got it now inside this set this can be present anywhere right which means these two these tag bits they say where inside this set you know it is present i mean you have to go for this uh, first one first line compare it and second line and compare it therefore since it can be present anywhere inside the set it is called as associative set associative means first go into the set and then search in the entire set where it is present now how can i how can i search it so since there are two lines in which our possible or you know our block might be present so you are supposed to have at least two comparators so how many comparators are required here two comparators are required and whenever once you decide about which set it is then we are supposed to read it and then we are supposed to compare this tag right so now once the tag is compared with both of them if anyone shows yes then we can say that it is present right so what is the advantage of this set, set associative uh, you know property finally the advantage is that the number of comparators are going to be reduced so the number of comparators reduced here are i mean required here are only two if there is no set associative then maybe if you use direct then eight comparators would have been required right see uh, let us say in k way set associative k way set associative means each set is containing k lines in that KBS set associative, once we reach a set, our required block can be present in any of the uh, K lines. Therefore, you are supposed to compare with all the K lines, right? So, in this case, in KBS set associative, what happens is uh, we require K comparators. Got it? And what will be the size of each comparator? That depends on the tag bits, right? So, in this in this particular example, we need two comparators why because it is two way set associative and then each comparator should be should have a two bit com should be of size two bits because tag is two bits so two bit comparators are required and how many such comparators are required two comparators each of two bit size right so that is how set associative works let's see some numerical questions on this and later we shall extend the concept okay